Hey everyone, I'm just going to run a new video for setting up TP-Link router with Starlink so you can have the stats and uh, I'll touch on uh, like using maybe other routers because uh, they're a little different when you uh, do the static page but um, yeah just as an FYI like you can always use your own router it's not like you can't you can just take out the Starlink router completely and put your own in and so she'll uh, You'll lose the stats page if you don't set it up properly so it's kind of good to know in case like the router from starlink ever goes down or if you just want to put your own router in it's nothing stopping you it's just this little extra step can give you uh, all the stats still uh so here we go hey everyone yet yeah, this uh an updated video just showing the ac1750 router that i have set up into my Starlink. Um, I was asked because my audio was kind of low and I'm just letting you know how this works uh, a little clearer. So there's my Starlink router not being used. Oh, I lost the little rubber thing for the back somewhere. But anyway, there's the power brick with the two connections that come out, the white and the black. I stuck some heat uh, thermal tape on there. <laughs> I don't know if it worked. Well, actually, you can feel it. It's pretty hot. Thinking that it might reduce a little bit of the heat. Anyway, that's the setup down here, and we'll move upstairs to see. The rest. <laughs> Always like that. Uh, so, before I start off, um, I don't know if you're familiar with this satellite map dot space. This, uh, this, oh, there it goes there. See how that line just connected to that satellite way up here? Um, so it's kind of cool. Like, if you type in your location, uh, oh, it's up here in your settings. Anyway, I'll link this in the description in case you don't know about it. Uh, there's a little cogwheels here set up. So if you do, uh, like, get location, it'll find your coordinates, and then you just say save. Um, it'll locate you on the map to where you are and uh, I guess this guy that created this web page is it's pretty accurate so it shows your location the satellites flying overhead the phased grid array antenna system built into the dish so some people kind of don't really understand like this they'll look on the map and then somebody might be located here and it they think well there's nothing overhead like because i'm not in between these circles well it's not actually true uh what the satellite uh is doing the dish is it reaches out and connects obviously in the northern hemisphere three i've saw up to four uh actual connections to various satellites um i guess it's ironic too because you'll think i guess with the more like right now i have four connections it's not really dependent on the amount of connections that you're attached to because as you see here i'm running a speed test uh i'm hitting the lower 20s and there will be times like i'll have one connection and i'll be getting over 100 megs so not really sure how that's all going to play out eventually in the future anyway moving on so to set up okay so i'm using a, a tp link archer c7 router uh this model here it's different on various routers because uh, you'll have to go to the static routing page. And I believe there's some routers out there that just do not have the static routing page, but for the mass majority, they do. So they could look different. So this one's specifically going to be set up with the uh, TP link. Um, I know in Asus routers and maybe Linksys, I know their tables look a little different. Like here's one that's going to look totally different actually from our TP link. Um, so if yours happens to look like this, uh, there's a step that's omitted by finding the IP address, which I'm going to show you in a minute for the TP link. But here you would just enter the Starlink address and that's 192.168.100.1. And here you put a net mask, uh, with all two five fives right across the board to four, uh, in the four uh, digit range um with starlink or with the tp link i'm about to show you this last 255 would be a zero uh the gateway there's a saying on these ones somebody on reddit said just to leave that blank 
and the metric uh, I've heard one and then I've heard 250 if that don't work and obviously your interface you set it to WAN drop down that arrow and and then you would save it there now totally different on the TP link which is here I'll show you uh, what you do is you'll log in right now you want to click on internet <clears throat> you're gonna want your IP address so not note that copy that down or right. then you'll click on uh, advanced routing down here and you'll come up with this table this is the static routing table you're gonna to want to add uh, a route I believe it has nothing here until you click add then under network destination right that, or copy that number that you uh, copied down just previously or right click in here and say paste if you copied it then subnet mask just put 255 255 255 the default gateway is that of the starling system 192.168.100.1 set the interface to wan and the description um i guess you could leave it blank uh, i never tried it but i just put something in there i put starling interface you put whatever you want in there like your name or and then uh, you you'd add it so it'll create that stat, uh, system routing table down below um and again somebody asked me about this number here this network destination number that we got from clicking on the uh, uh the internet because it changes if that will affect this well i can guarantee you it won't because my number has since changed but i still have the same number in here when i input it originally and it it doesn't affect it so once you're done that reboot it and uh then you'll be able to access the statistics page um, by entering 192.168.100.1 and uh, momentarily it'll say couldn't connect and it says connected and you can run a speed test from here you click on support and you, well you have all your stats now right so you can come and look at your statistics and here you see I was down for a few seconds just previously uh, that's showing no internet actually so my beta downtime was two minutes in the last 24 hours and uh, there's all your stats it'll show up on your phone too with your Starlink app now when you use your own router by doing this whereas previously uh, if you just plug your router your store-bought router into the system and uh, bypassing the Starlink router you can do that you can plug right into your WAN port and uh, as long as the router is set to dynamic uh, IP address allocation, which it defaults to, it'll connect. It'll create a connection for you and you can use it all you want, 100%. It's just you won't be able to access these pages until you do what we just did here. So again, in case anybody's wondering, using your own router with Starlink, you can do it. It does not affect it. There's no down times any different than using their router. There's nothing different. Actually, in, in essence, you actually gain things.